Today's video um, is titled The Top 5 Campsites We'd Like to Visit After Lockdown. This video is part of the Vanas collaboration series. Links to the other videos in the playlist are in the description below. So please take some time and have a look at the other videos in the series. So these um, campsites aren't put in any particular order as such. So starting off with number one, Trehuit Farm Caravan and Motorhome Club site in Cornwall. We have this booked for the 11th of July for seven nights. Um, it's in Tintagel and I've never been to Tintagel. Me neither. I'm quite looking forward to going to Cornwall. We've had a look after watching a video that recommended this place from Vicky and Aaron of Motorhome Chit Chat. And we liked it so much from looking at the website, doing a bit of research that we definitely, definitely want to go there. Yeah, they, um, the pictures seem to show um, cliff top pictures. So we're hoping that we'll be able to look out the front of the caravan or, or one of the side windows and have some really stunning views. The second campsite we'd like to visit is the New Lodge Farm in Northamptonshire. Carefree Caravanning have organised a rally in aid of the Alzheimer's Society and we booked this campsite for the 11th of September for three nights. We planned this on quite early in the year and um, Kaz has done a video where she produced a padded notice board that we're going to raffle at this event. So we know nothing about the site, in fact we've not even googled it. Um, we were just excited about the thought of being able to go uh, along to a rally. A, we've never been to a rally, so we'd like to see if rallying is for us. Yep. And also um, a, an op give us an opportunity to meet up with fellow YouTubers. Number three on the list is Malvern Hills Caravan and Man Motorhome Club site. I've got the dog's teeth in today. Um, <laughs> Let's try that one again. <laughs> Number three is Malvern Hills Caravan and Motorhome Campsite. Um, the reason we'd like to go here is we did have this booked for 22nd of March for five nights. However, as March 10th-ish came, yep. um, COVID-19 had reared its ugly head. It soon became apparent to us that there was no way we were going to be able to go here. We were pretty much sure that this yeah, was going to get closed I think, down. I, I think we held out a little bit of artificial hope. We were you know, watching all the people saying, look, if you've got your own facilities and so on, and we can maintain the social distancing and everything like that. But I think we knew in our heart of hearts that this wasn't happening. So this brings us on to our next campsite that we'd like to visit. And that's a place called Kledi Tan Farm. Now this is a CL site, so a CL site being um, uh, a, p a place that has spaces for five motorhomes or caravans maximum and literally there are no facilities other than um, a water tap, a place to discard of your black water, the hedge is where your grey water goes yep. um, and literally there's just a couple of dust dustbins, not even wheelie bins, a couple of dustbins to do your recycling. Oh and they had the electrical hookup as well. Oh well of course yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I do remember the first time that we visited there there was some um, blocks of wood, you do need to, um, it's not, not the most, uh, the flattest of um, sites so I went over to this block to um, <laughs> to pass it to Pete to, to put under the caravan steadies and there was a dead bird on it. <laughs> Gin I did gingerly like pick it up by its kind of feet and fling it into the hedge <laughs> unceremoniously. But um, no, the, the reason we actually like this site as well is because it offers the most stunning views. You can see for miles and miles and miles on a clear day. I mean. You know, you can see all the way through to the, I think it's the Black Hills of Wales. And from some of the pictures that we've included about this site, you'll see that we actually had, a, we shot a scene from um, one of Alfred Hitchcock's famous films, The Birds. <laughs> oh yeah, on the telegraph wire there. Yeah, yeah really yeah, weird. Yeah. There were an awful lot of birds yeah. packed onto this telephone wire. We booked this for um, the 22nd of March for six nights. And we were still going on the 22nd of March. We'd packed up the van, we'd um, we'd rung first thing in the morning to make sure they were open. We did have a, a kind of a sinking feeling that actually the government was going to make an announcement before we set off, and it did. It was about it, did, it yeah. was about one o'clock. Yep. I think the caravan and camping. Um, the caravan and motorhome club. Yep. They put um, a notice on their website saying all campsites shut. It's not too far from us, is it? So it's not too far from us, but there's a bit of a note of caution. Um, <laughs> yeah. Some way along the route you'll see a rather cryptic sign and I'll put a picture of it somewhere, um, probably here in the middle. Um, if you see the sign, and it only exists in Wales, and I was driving, yeah, so it's um, my fault for going down there, but um, it's 
I was following the GPS and literally the, the sign pops out of a hedgerow like a couple of seconds before you're going to make the turn. I was committed in my own head, I'm going down this road, but I knew it was a mistake immediately with the grass growing out the middle of the tarmac. If you see that sign, obey it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and it also, means don't go. It means don't there. go. Um, and the last site that we'd like to um, visit is somewhere called Pont Kemi's Caravans Park in Wales. Um, we stayed here in September 2019 and there's several reasons why we liked this. Um, it was quite a large site. Again, we're, we're not overly sociable people so we tend to go mm. for CLs. Yeah. But we decided to take a punt on this and um, we stayed and it was a large site. I, I can't remember how many caravans, motorhome pictures it's got but it was a fair few. There was a dog walk in the woods right next to the site which was lovely really handy it was well maintained the people staying whilst we were there were very good with cleaning up after themselves we didn't yeah. see any mess around no it was, it was um excellent facilities in addition to the dog walk in the woods there was one in a field as well yeah. and sometimes our dogs they got the habit of waking me up at 2 30 3 30 in the morning uh, especially if it's the first night we were away in the caravan and they got to go for a bit of a walk uh, uh, have a bit of a nose around and see what's going on so I did um, the walk in this field by moonlight and it was like totally silent. The, you know, the stars were really bright. It was um, it's really, really nice. And also yeah. on the pitch that we had, we also had a picnic bench included. Yep. As you'll see from this picture, okay, so yep. we, tried, we tried out our new windbreak, which is mahoosive which then kind of encompassed our caravan, we had our, we had our kazak out, we yep. had the, the picnic bench, all, you know, it was just like, a, we had a massive space that was all ours and enclosed. Only one of the two times we've had a fully serviced pitch, you know, where you can connect oh, up the yeah. waste, the water, you know, everything, yeah. um, without having to go and use the aqua roll and the waste master. Highly recommend it, and the design of the site is um, good as well. You know, it's, it's, it's almost like three different areas, and you know, the road goes between a break in the trees and you feel like you're in, you know, when you arrive, you're in a campsite with a quite kind of an open kind of feel. We went through the road and we ended up in a little secluded part at the back with high trees all, all the way around it. So there we have it. There's the five campsites that we'd like to visit when lockdown is over. And just another reminder that this video is part of a series. Please take the time to look at the other videos in the playlist. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Remember to follow us on social media. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a like. And turn on notifications. Bye. Bye.